So that I'm going to talk about how to build your own Ingodal canal using a paper model. But before I do that, I'd like to talk a little bit about the borders of the Ingle Canal itself. Um, and to do this, I'd like to use a, um, a mnemonic you may have heard of called MALT. So essentially, to use this new mnemonic, uh, you have to visualize the Ingle Canal kind of like a four-sided uh, structure with the superior border and anterior border an inferior border and a posterior border. And you can kind of think of it as sort of like a rectangular three-dimensional structure here, with the canal being in the middle there. So malt uh, refers to the, um, essentially, the inguinal canal borders um, has two, two structures um, at each of these borders. There are two muscles um, in the superior border. So those two muscles are the internal oblique muscle, the transversus abdominis muscle, um, and the, the A structures is the anterior position, um, and they are two aponeuroses. Um, so there's the external oblique aponeurosis, the internal oblique aponeurosis. Um, there is the inguinal ligament, I'm um, sorry, and this uh, the ligaments form the inferior, uh, the structures that um, constitute the inferior border, and the lacuna ligament. And now there are two T's, um, which form the uh, posterior border, and that's the transversalis fascia and the conjoint tendon. So to summarize the ingle canal, the superior border is formed by two muscles um, from the M in MALT, the internal oblique muscle and the transversus abdominis muscle. Anterior structures um, are formed by two epineuroses, the external oblique epineurosis and the internal oblique epineurosis. The inferior border is formed by two ligaments, the inguinal ligament and the lacuna ligament. And the posterior border is formed by two T's, is that's the transversalis fascia and the conjoint tendon.